Chapter 6 Knowing Adobe Flash CS4 Important Points 1. Introduction 2. Starting Adobe Flash CS4 3. Creating a new Flash file 4. Components of the Flash interface 5. Timeline 6. Layers 7. Creating a symbol in Flash 8. Placing the object on stage. 9. Animations in Flash. 10. Frame by frame animation. Dear students, today I'll introduce you to a multimedia program that can be used to create a HTML web page. It can be used to create a HTML web page. It can be used to create an application used to view one or more pictures in a slideshow, to create and deliver a presentation, to produce a video or movie, etc. Let us know its name and more about it. Introduction Adobe Flash CS4 is a software used for creating animations, games, cartoons, text, graphics and other special effects. It also helps to create movies on the web and add animations without using programming skills. Stage Timeline Properties Tools Library Starting Adobe Flash CS4 To start Adobe Flash CS4 Professional, follow the given steps. Click the Start button. All Programs Click Adobe Flash CS4 Professional option. The Flash screen appears. Creating a new Flash file. To create a new Flash file, follow the given steps. 1. Click on File option in the menu bar. 2. Click on to create new option. 3. Click Flash file. Flash opens a new blank file as shown below. Menu bar. Stage. Work Area, Tools Panel, Property Inspector, Timeline Panel. Components of the Flash Interface The Adobe Flash CS4 interface has the following components. Title Bar Displays the name of the current working file. Menu Bar Gives access to all the commands available in Flash. Stage Is the white rectangular area where your work is displayed. Work area refers to the light grey area around the stage. You can place objects here until you want them to appear on the stage. Property inspector is used to organize and modify the properties of the current selection. Timeline panel organizes and controls the file content over time in layers and frames. Tools panel is used to choose different tools. Color palette is used to choose different colors. Before creating anything, let's learn the timeline and layers in Flash. Timeline The main tool used in Flash animation is the timeline panel. In Flash, frames are small rectangular cells in the timeline. They are numbered at the top of the timeline. You don't draw into a frame on the timeline. You draw on the stage. The current frame marker, playhead, indicates the frame whose contents are currently on screen. Layer name, keyframe, playhead, blank keyframe, visibility locked, frames, new layer, delete layer, current frame number, keyframe. This is a frame with content on the stage. This frame marks the beginning of an animation or a place with changes in animation. Blank keyframe. It is a keyframe with no content on stage. Its stage is blank. Pause frame. It is added as the last keyframe in a sequence of static frames. Playhead. It represents the frame whose content is being displayed on the stage. Static frames. It represents a unit of time to be added to an animation. For example, if you want an image 
to remain on screen for a longer period of time. Then you insert static frames into the timeline. Create frames in timeline. Right click on a cell in the timeline and choose Insert Frame for static frames. Insert Keyframe or Insert Blank Keyframe or Click on a cell in the timeline, then click Insert Timeline and choose one of these options Frame for static frames, Keyframe or Blank Keyframe. Layers A layer is a row with frames in the timeline. You can create multiple layers. Let's see some important characteristics of layers. A layer can be defined as one independent movie of only one level. That is to say, one layer contains its own timeline with endless frames. Adding a layer. Follow these steps to add a layer. Click the plus sign or the layer menu or right click on any layer and select insert layer. A new layer will immediately appear at the top. Added layer. Deleting a layer. Follow these steps to delete a layer. Right click on the layer that you want to delete. Select delete layer. A layer disappears from the timeline.